Hi, my name's Stuart Porter. I've been asked to speak to you very quickly about myself, being a physiotherapist, and what it's done for me and why I enjoy it. So I don't have a script, I don't need one because I talk all day. So um, I've been at Salford for 25 years now. Uh, love every minute of it. The staff that I work with are the best staff that I've ever worked with in my life. And I've worked all over the world. I've worked in Brazil, Cambridge, I've been external examiner in different universities and the people that here work here are the best that I've ever worked with. The students are also the best that I've ever worked with. They are intelligent, funny and hard working. As a career, you won't really regret it. I know very I don't think I know any physios that have regretted becoming a physio and I certainly don't know any that couldn't get a job. Last year we scored 100% in employment for graduates. We also scored third in the country for student satisfaction. We used to be top, but I can cope with dropping to third. We're still in the Champions League slot. Um, it's an absolute joy to work here, and I know it sounds a bit cheesy, but it's the truth. I'm just being honest. Um, my career, it's allowed me to do all sorts of things. I've traveled the world, I've written 10 books. I got a PhD 10 years ago in a strange type of arthritis that I studied, and I've represented my country as the England women's physio. Um, so the possibilities are endless. We've got contacts all over the world, we've got students from all over the world, and you certainly wouldn't regret it. In terms of the academic needs, what you need to do is look on the university web page and there'll be a template there that watches what you need. But basically, it is competitive, but if you do your homework, your chances are much better of getting in. So we do need at least five Bs or five fives at GCSE, including maths, English, and a science. Then after that, we need 128 points at UCAS. Now that works out at ABB at A-level, or if you're doing a BTEC, it's DDM. But we do also take other qualifications as well, so it's a little bit difficult to cover it all in one go. Um, there is a little bit of wriggle room, um, but the standards are quite high. We also expect you to know a lot about the profession, and we do interview you as well. One thing that I do need to say is that physiotherapy is not just sport. So the way that I explain it is if you've got a huge Domino's pizza which is 16 inches across, the amount of sport that you do on this program is probably a couple of anchovies and a tomato, the rest of it is not sport, so it's going to be paediatrics, respiratory care, neurology, women's health, men's health, you name it. You might end up working in sport obviously, but there is a, a fine line, you've, it's fine to be interested in sport but we don't want too much. Um, I'll put my contact details at the end of this video if you need to speak to me about anything at all. Uh, more than happy to speak to. In fact, I prefer to speak to people rather than email because I kind of drown in emails. But um, hope to see you guys soon. Thank you.